Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to EVR 1001 News, your most accurate global apocalypse news report. Here's Madison Bruno, live with the remnants of the New Globe City. Good morning. We're going on day 225 of our global apocalypse, and our citizens have grown accustomed to the raging heat, waist-deep waters, and the extreme cold, which are only just a few of the multiple disasters that we face today. If you're looking for quick tips to a strong survival chance, you're in luck. I'm here with Susan Oliver, a local baker, who gives us an inside glance towards their everyday life within this apocalypse. Susan? Thank you, Madison. One of the biggest inconveniences for, for me is the scorching heat. If you really want to survive this, one of the biggest tips I can give you is to reduce your carbon emissions use. The best way to do that, drive less, walk more. Speaking of which, if you walk to my bakery down on 3rd Street, you'll not only have buns of steel, but you'll get free buns cooked directly by nature. That's only one of the few tips that EBR 1001 News can offer. We'll now be going to Dory, who's bracing herself for the bitter cold half an hour from here. Dory? Thanks, Madison. While in New Globe City, the heat is increasing by the day, the cold is angrily storming in here like Regina George. Hmm. I'm here with Aaron Fitzpatrick, a professional singer within the area, with tips on how to brace for the cold. Thank you so much. The cold here is going to be dreadful. However, a singer must always be prepared for the unexpected. I would highly recommend staying away from the animals. We use them all the time for clothes, for jewelry, and for other things, and especially food. If we think plants, we will survive, and we will persevere. You heard the lady. The animals are our friends, not our food. Now we'll go to our meteorologist, Gianna Migliosi, with the latest report. Gianna? Thanks, Dory. As you can see, our east coast is flooded. Um, it's not going to change. We're going on 225 days, people, of the same weather patterns. You want to change the weather? Literally, just don't cut down the trees. Be nice to our animals and act like those loving flower babies. That's all I have to say. Back to you, Gianna. Thank you. And that is our morning report on EVR 1001. Have a great day. Do you want to save the environment? Ditch that gas guzzler and go renewable. For more information, please visit www.thisisnotarealwebsite.com forward slash save the environment and plant a tree. Well, hello, and thank you for turning into EVR 1001 News for your most accurate apocalyptic news in the remnants of New Globe City. My name is Gianna Migliosi. And my name is Madison Bruno, and we are currently on day 1,756 of this climate change nightmare. Not only is the entire East Coast considered the new Atlantis, the majority of the West Coast is currently being consumed by wildfires, and the middle of the country has been dealing with continuous twisters for the past six weeks that are progressing at unprecedented rates. While the weather has been getting worse, there are still ways in which people of this nation can work together to help better the situation. One way to do this is to become more energy conscious, switch over to solar and wind powered energy. We are going through an unprecedented non-renewable resource energy decline. Not only are we running out of fossil fuels, they are part of what causes Armageddon in the first place. By focusing on renewable, not only energy but in our diets, we're going but in our diets, we're giving the environment the break it needs to heal. Another serious issue that the earth is currently facing is deforestation. People are cutting down trees for so many reasons, including build, building new infrastructure and agriculture. But what many people don't realize about deforestation is that when trees are cut down, the roots cannot keep the soil and sand in its place. This causes erosion, which can lead to serious problems that can turn a once less forest into a harsh desert. One issue that is every day coming dangerously closer is the rise of seawater. Global sea level rose about eight inches in the last century. The rate in the last two decades is nearly double of the last century and is accelerating every year. Going hand in hand with sea level rising is the melting of polar ice caps. The Arctic sea ice has declined rapidly over the last several decades and is continuously melting more every year. Data from NASA's gravity recovery and climate experiment showed Greenland lost an average of 286 billion tons of ice per year between 1993 and 2016. Antarctica lost about 127 billion tons of ice during the same period. Imagine going to the ocean and thinking you're in a hot tub. Yep, got that right. Our oceans are warming. 
The oceans have absorbed much of this increased heat with the top 700 meters of ocean showing warming of more than 0 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit since 1969. And that's it for your EDR 1001 news. Thank you for turning in.